Hello, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Hannah and I love everything to do with horror. For today, I decided I would review Frankenfran, a little known manga that I think deserves a little bit more of a following, personally. It's about a young lady, Fran, who was, who, like Frankenstein's monster, was created by a genius scientist and surgeon. Like her creator, she has decided to become a genius in the same fields herself, and now people from all over the world come to her in desperate need for life-saving and otherwise life-altering procedures, and she accommodates them, no matter how impossible the task. Unfortunately, Fran's idea of success is more than a little different than the average Joe's. After all, among a plethora of creations, she has a cat with a human head as a pet and companion, if that's any indication. And her results send her patients and will send readers running for the hills. This is a supernatural body horror comedy, and it was a ton of fun to read. It's episodic, so that means each chapter is a one-and-done mini-story with a couple of recurring characters and a few extended plot threads as well. It finishes at a little over 60 chapters, collected into eight volumes total. And by the way, don't let these covers fool you at all. This is the only fan service you're going to see in the entire series, just the just at the front. To give you an idea of what it's like, I'm going to spoil only the first chapter for you and nothing else. Here, a man begs Fran to bring his son back to life who has just died in a car accident. Fran, moved by the father's desire to save his child, agrees. You'd think it's a typical father who loves his son dearly, but no. In fact, the father has murdered his son and set it up to look like a car accident, all because the, father, the grandfather decided to bequeath a massive fortune to his grandson rather than to his son. The father doesn't care what his son's quality of life will be, even if it's in a vegetative state. He just needs someone he can manipulate in some way. Fran notes that dead is dead and cannot bring the son back to life, unless it has some sort of power source, so to speak. Her solution? Using the loving father as this power source, she pushes the father into the operating room, forcefully sedates him, and surgically attaches the son's head to his father's head, and the son's brain to the father's brain, connecting all of their thoughts and memories. In a wonderfully sick twist of karmic justice, the father is stuck with his son, who, by the way, knew, knows he was murdered by his dad for the money for the rest of their lives. Fran, who never found out about the father's scheme, believes they'll have a happily ever after and is pleased with her work because, you know, who could ever be unhappy with another head attached to the back of your own head? So that's what you're in for. <laughs> Uh, not every chapter had comeuppance for bad people like this one did, but a lot of them do. Um, some of them are definitely a lot funnier, others are creepier. The creepiest by far, that would be chapter 29 for me, titled Egg Parturition. Pretty sure it scarred me for life. <laughs> Overall, this manga knows what it is, and it isn't trying to be something that it's not, which for the most part I think is to its benefit, but it could have pushed its boundaries a little bit. I think it could have reached for more. There were also stretches that dragged on a bit, they were a bit slow and dry, and in addition to that, it doesn't really stick the landing on the finale, it sort of tapers off, kind of like it's a little bit tired. So considering all the highs and the lows, I would give this manga probably like a 7 out of 10, or perhaps like a high C. Um, I'm not sure what type of rating scale I'm going with yet, so just bear with me on that. There is an anime adaptation that I have not seen, but would like to at some point. Maybe in the future I might do a volume by volume spoiler filled review, um, but that's probably going to need a reread with that amount of detail and it's not very high priority at the moment. I've got some other projects that I'm excited to start filming. But yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear them. 
I'd especially like to hear if you've read it already. Did you read it and love it? Did you read it and hate it? Or did you read it and just forget about it? Um, let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for your time and for watching. Bye.